Yo, what's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do the last gig log of 2020. Who knows when we'll resume in 2021, but this is the last one, it's December 5th. And before we get into the video, I gotta let you know about DJ Life Clothing, because we're giving away a Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT. Yes, we got high quality, awesome lanyards with metal, like not plastic metal. We got absolutely the most comfortable hoodies you will ever wear, I guarantee it. We got it in this awesome gray DJ Life. It also comes in black. We got dope t-shirts like this one that says, I will play requests tomorrow. And it also comes in this army green. Pretty, pretty, pretty sick, right? Pretty sick. Then you have the first arrive, last leave. It comes in this awesome white with the new font, the classic saying. We also have the little DJ Life on the front right here. And it also comes in green. DJ Life, first arrive, last to leave. We also have the Keep Them Records Spinning official, my shirt right here. Gotta love this shirt, this one is awesome. And what's better than that is, it comes in red. Pretty dope, right? And the last shirt we have, the New Year's shirt, here to party. It comes in this purple, almost gray color, and we even have it in this awesome blue color. Honestly, my favorite shirt design in probably the whole entire collection, but one bonus for the first time ever, I'm offering long sleeve t-shirts for the first arrive. Last to leave, it comes in this dark kind of uh, gray with black font, or if you like just black shirts in general, we also have it in the black. Love the long sleeves, they're super dope, super comfortable, made out of the same t-shirt material. So if you guys have got the t-shirts before, you know these are probably the most comfortable shirts you'll ever wear. I wear these shirts every single day. The long sleeves, the same awesome, comfortable quality. They're great. Um, yeah, back to the video. Anyways, we're all loaded up here. We're taking the turntable booth. We got up lighting, very simple. We got Drake in the background. We got Ralph here today. Ralph's gonna be hanging out with us. Yeah, it's the last gig log. It's kind of sad, December 5th. Uh, we don't really have another gig on the books until March of next year. So, I'm gonna be doing a lot of different content. If you got any suggestions for what you want me to make, tutorials, videos, leave it down in the comment section down below. Anyway, up lights. We got other stuff here, facade, audio rack. Big boof, very simple, very simple. What up, fellas? What's going on? Before we head upstairs here, I need to show you guys some of the back end stuff. I want to show you guys some of the behind the scenes stuff since it's the last gig log of 2020 of what I do before every single wedding. Load up what you see in every single gig log is like the simplest thing ever. We got check sheets and everything's in big cases and it's easy to go. But speaking of equipment, I'm selling equipment. If you saw on Instagram or if you saw on uh, my post on the channel, I'm selling some equipment. Some of it has already been sold. This may or may not be available. Hit me up on Instagram at DJRickWeb if you're interested, but here's what I'm selling. Down here we have two of the TurboSound IP300s. TurboSound Inspire IP300s. These are a column array top. Selling two of those. Hit me up if you want or if you're interested. Also, yes, kind of sadly, but I am selling the JBL Eon 1 Compact. I just don't need it. It doesn't, it's not practical for what I do. It does have a little minor scratch on there, so, uh, I am selling that. Back upstairs, these lanyards just arrived actually. So here's a little taste of what they are. Got the little metal clasp on the end there to secure your keys. These are dope. ShopDJLife.com. So some people did ask because of the contest. This right here is my 1000 SRT. This is not what you're winning. In the DJ Life giveaway that I'm doing, I'm going to get you a brand new Pioneer DJ 1000 SRT. This one's mine. This is the office one. It's not changing. So. Th that's mine. But I've shown this before. Um, I kind of gone through all the stuff that I do before we leave for an event. One, print out all the planning forms on Vibo. I've already printed all those out and I put them on a PDF and put them on my Google Drive so they're on all my devices. But it's pretty simple. Got the jet pad bag, tripod for the camera so you guys can see, my clothes, my fit for the day right here all ready to go, and then my other jet pad bag right here that has all of my clothes, my shoes, and everything to change into. So, pretty simple, two bags, clothes. I've gotta grab my iPad over there, but we're ready to go. We're here, it's windy as hell, but we're gonna go see what's pop. We're on the backside. 105 Wharf Event Center in uh, Asheboro, North Carolina. So here's their little string bulb lighting outside. I assume they do ceremonies out here when it's not cold. All of our stuff is right here. Got the groomsmen over there playing some pool. They have the elevator, a free elevator to get 
up to the three floors. Floor two is the ceremony and floor three is the cocktail slash reception. So what we're gonna do is uh, Drake's gonna wait on the freight elevator because the caterers are using it right now. I'm gonna take Ralph and we're gonna carry the stuff up for the actual uh, ceremony because it's light. I mean, it's just an audio rack. LD Systems Mavic 5 Go is it. So we're gonna carry that up now. So this is floor two. There's staircases right here and on the back side to get the floor three. But this right here is where we're gonna have the ceremony. Decent sized wedding today. I'm not really sure the quantity, but got a nice chandelier here, nice backdrop for our ceremony today for Megan and Chad. And over here is where we're gonna set up the audio right here on the side. Drake's showing Ralph how it all works. I'm gonna go grab some cables. All right, so if you guys have seen on the time lapse so far, I'm trying to do as little work as possible. I'm trying to see how much Drake knows. Because if you guys don't know, Drake's gonna be doing uh, weddings next year for the company. He'll be starting sometime around uh, the fall season when we get really busy and everything. I've been laying back more and more to Ben's to see what he knows and what he gets done. Also, it means less work for me, so it's all good. So let's, let's review what he did so far. So we get the Maui over here. It's in a good spot to provide audio. He cleanly ran the cable along. Looks good, looks good. Cables are all tucked away as best as possible. Looks good, he's got the mics laid out. He probably didn't sing them yet. Ooh, gonna have to fix that cable. Gonna have to give him some crap for that. But yeah, oh, if you guys haven't seen this before, this is uh, the Ceremony Audio Rack. So it's got power built into it, battery backup, so it's got battery built into it. This is not, you guys will read this right here, it's a StarTech. This is not a StarTech. This is actually made by Colorado Sound and Light to include a DC battery inside of it, a lithium ion battery, so that you can run it on battery or whatnot. Two Audio Technica, 3004 gens lapels, handhelds if needed. Got the Yamaha MG6X on the side here. Batteries, good to go. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs. I'm gonna take the front stairs this time. We're gonna go upstairs and see what it is. They got a thermometer here to check the temperature. This is actually downtown Astro right here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but walking up this nice little staircase here. Setting up over here. They've already been working getting the audio rack set up. Audio rack back here as always. I don't know what that is. That's uh. That's sketch. I'm gonna put you guys back on time lapse and uh, enjoy the setup. All right guys, behind me the reception setup is complete. Drake is tuning the mics with Ralph downstairs. So uh, let me walk you through everything we're gonna be using for today's wedding for Megan and Chad. So obviously, we've kind of already showed it, but we have the audio rack back here with the facade blocking it. It also allows our photographer right here, my man Brian is here today, gonna be shooting the photos. So we have our little two table side on the audio rack. We have one audio techno up here because my actual antenna combiners for this right here just arrived today. But I'm gonna be putting a second mic here so that we have two mics built into this because we always use two for one for toast one for me especially with covid gotta have a separate mic for myself but we got the dbx drive rack shabba show express from a power strip charging a camera battery right there down there we got all the electrical inputs all the inputs on the back yamaha mg12 complete overkill but it has everything we need we have our little covid makeshift sanitation area this is just a sanitization cleaner mic sanitizer hand sanitizer everything you need running virtual dj for the interim time between cocktail because downstairs where we're doing the ceremony so when they're coming up here we'll play music on here until i can get my main laptop up here we also have Shabe Show Express running. We have 16 of the Chinese pars around the room. One of them is actually right here. We'll be able to sync up and set the colors for the room. We obviously have the turntable booth right here with two Rain 12s, the Pioneer S9 mixer. We got my HP 15 inch laptop running Serato DJ, Vmoto headphones as always. And then we got a mic stand here for our toast later on. Speakers of the JBL PRX 712s with the JBL PRX 715 XLF bottom subs. Other pair is right down here. And like I said, we got uplights all around the room right now. They're off right now. I'll show you that later on, but we got the uplights all the way around the room. These uplights, like I said, I gotta get around to doing a review this winter, but these are from both lighting, both lighting.com. They run directly with donor wireless DMX. They're awesome. Hex uplights. They're great. I'm going to travel down the back staircase here. We'll go down to the ceremony area. Area. show you guys what that is so kind of a cool setup here to be able to have downstairs well we have a basement below this is which is where the grooms was hanging out i'll show you guys that here in a second then you come down here to the ceremony which is actually on the main floor they're setting up some crazy photography here kinds of photography stuff back here though looks like they're still trying to figure out these microphones i don't know why wait we guys still working on these are set up i'm just showing a mic check right now oh these we already set up these Let me see. okay yeah it sounded good with the lapel so i can be confident these are ready to go i mean like 100%, like we don't gotta do anything, right? These are good to go. 
put these on. No issues. No issues. No issues at all, right? Let's get a professional opinion. All right, mic check. All good. Took my laptop down here, made sure the audio is all synced and ready to go. I'm gonna bring that back upstairs so I can put it back on the charger. It's 100% charged right now, but good to go. I'm gonna walk back up the stairs here and uh, probably get changed. About 2:30, I think. A little after 2:30. Wedding doesn't start until 3:30, so we are way, way ahead of schedule. Which honestly. All you guys should shoot to do that. Honestly, show up two to three hours ahead of time. Makes your life so much easier. Get to chillax, talk, it's all good. What up? We got the DJ, we're rocking, we're rolling, and I'm all changed and ready to go. Not gonna lie to you guys. COVID, it's got this little tight. A little tight, I need to work on the weight. And now for Matthew, husband and wife, you may seal your vows with a kiss. Friends, once again, I want to welcome you to Megan and Shad's wedding reception. Can someone please make some noise for our newlyweds this evening? Come on, give it up, give it up. I need you to scream. I need you to shout. Put our hands together as we honor our families for the second time tonight. Shad and Megan Brown, give it up. All right, y'all, we're done, so I can take that off. You got all 16 lights. Yeah, it's the nice part about having cases. Bonus tip, have cases for your lights, so that way you know all the slots that it needs to go in, but room's empty now. We done, we done. So we're just waiting on the elevator over there, the freight elevator to get out of here. That was the last wedding for 2020. Moving on to 2021, 2021. Will COVID still be a thing? Leave it down in the comment section down below. Let's figure it out. Drake, Drake, what do you got? What words what? you got for the people? What words you got for the people, Drake? Not many today, man. Not many. Ralph, what words you got for the people? Listen, people, listen. It's Ralph. Check this out. I'm new on the team. I'm having fun. And listen, Merry Christmas to you all. And make sure you all tell your family you love them. And Yo, Ralph, what's the best gift you can get a DJ for Christmas, though? Um, Honestly, the best gift you can give a DJ for Christmas is get them some freaking DJ Life merch. ShopDJLife.com. <laughs> Tell you what, some of the next mods need to be lighting in this trailer. What do you guys think? Do some upgrades on the trailer. If you guys haven't seen the E-Track everywhere, makes it so nice to tie down everything, strap it all down with the E-Track system. Here comes Burfa though. If you guys haven't heard on the channel yet, the big case with the big boop, that's Burfa. And here she comes. She, she's got a mind of her own though. She's got a mind of her own. Chill out, chill out. Uh, Rob, you gotta go to the right. About bust this. Bro. Bro. All right, everyone, that is all for this gig log. Don't forget, every $5 you spend on shopdglife.com enters you to win a Pioneer DJ 1000 SRT. Enter now because the giveaway is probably coming to an end anytime here soon. I don't know when this is going to be posted, but January 2nd is when this ends. Shopdglife.com. Go now. Go now. Anyways, like the video. Leave down in the comments section down below what you guys think of this video. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.